Welcome to... Oh no, shit, what did I always do? This is the YouTube update! <laughs> this is the YouTube, this is the 10 minute update guys. Uh, so we're having the Wooting live stream right now. Uh, we're live on Twitch. If you haven't joined the live streams yet, I recommend you to join the live streams every f two weeks on a Friday. Check out the live stream, see when the last Friday was, and then the week after is the live stream. It's worth joining. You can, after li live streams, we always have a live FAQ and everything, where we go deeper into topics, share more details, and answer all kinds of questions. Um, but okay, for, no further, uh, no more delay. Let's do the 10 minute update. We have three topics to go over. Uh, the first mm. is the an update, status update on the Lecker edition and the status update on the HE. And then the third one is a long awaited update on the Wooting Despad mouse pads, which is going to be pretty exciting because it's coming fast now. Uh, so first, Wooting 2 Lecker edition. We, fin you, we all know we finished the production, but we were missing a small quantity. That small quantity will finish next week and that will go per air freight to us in the Netherlands and looks like we're going to receive those earlier than the rest. <laughs> uh, not sure what we're going to do with it yet. Maybe we'll make them available uh, with express shipment for a few people that are willing to pay for it. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to wait for the rest. Uh, we still mm -hmm. need to decide internally. Then we have uh, the rest of the keyboards heading towards Europe on a boat that's leaving on the 8th of March. It was originally planned to leave on the 1st of March, but it's leaving on the 8th of March. Uh, it did not delay the, the arrival date for the boat as much. Uh, it's changed from the 1st of April to the 2nd of April. So the 2nd of April, we expect the boat to arrive at the port in the Netherlands. Um, and you can say plus a week, we'll have it in the warehouse and we can start shipping stuff. Uh, mm. And I'll keep you up to date if that changes. The US. Uh, I was also able to arrange all the freight shipment for Lecker Edition. That one is now in a freight warehouse and I expect it to arrive in the US about the 10th of April. I don't have a departure date for the boat yet, uh, but basically it's when the boat departures plus 30 days, it will arrive at the warehouse. Uh, so I'll update more on that once I have some uh, final dates. Then. Uh, that completes it for Wooting 2 Lecker Edition um, when it comes to when you can expect the keyboard. Uh, and then for the rest, software wise, we're working really hard and really fast on it. And I'm very confident that when you receive the keyboard, that you're going to have a nice, good working utility version with all the features that we promised. Um, and then, meanwhile, we'll be working on more uh, that we thought of wanting to add. Then, Wooting 2 HE. Um, which uh, Kevin will talk about a bit more. Uh, the first real progress update will come out soon. Uh, and that will cover the uh, following two things that Kevin will cover for me. My Where's the Wooting 2 HE? <laughs> Did I just throw you in the deep? Where's the Wooting 2 HE, Kevin? <laughs> What's happening with the Wooting 2 HE? Uh, we kind of fi finalized the packaging. I, I want to talk about the packaging first because uh, we took a lot. We received the uh, the last sample of the whole uh, HE box uh, right uh, after Chinese New Year. Uh, Eric and I uh, made some changes here and there, and then uh, we filed the uh, the file uh, to our uh, manufacturer. And there's gonna to be a new prototype um, within two weeks. Yep. And uh, give me some hint. Is anything I, I missed? Uh, oh, we also have that um, Wooting to HE. We even though it's the same keyboard that as the LE, uh, we are still trying to. There is still some differences in uh, the bill of material. So what which parts that we use? And um, that bill of material needs to be confirmed by the manufacturer, and we're still discussing all the final parts. Um, and then, if you follow the lacquer edition updates, we talked about the top plate, uh, the top plate, and that the top plate doesn't fully flush fit with the bottom case. Uh, and that's hmm. always kind of been a thing with Wooting One, Wooting Two, that there's always there's yeah. not it's not 100 perfect. But in this case. Um, was a bit a little bit more noticeable 
and we wanted to fix that before the HE, um, but we uh, hit a uh, bump in the road. The Toplik manufacturer, in short, doesn't want to take our case anymore. <laughs> uh, we can have a longer longer story after the 10 minute update, but yeah, in yeah. short. In short. He didn't want to take part into any kind of making top play for Utin or like continue the business with us because of uh, several reasons. So we need to actually move the mode and uh, communicate with our new, uh, the, the manufacturer doing the, uh, the Laker and to see if they have a supplier which can make uh, like tol uh, take over those uh, modes of the top play and then we can start over again. In, in short, right? Yeah. Mm. Exactly. So we are going to uh, start now, start this week, moving the mold from the old uh, manufacturers, uh, top plate manufacturer, and then move it to the new uh, supplier. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't know what the impact is going to be on the schedule yet, um, but mm. I'm pretty confident now to say that uh, we cannot make April just already. Before it was ready, I was we could already guess that we were not going to make April. Uh, looking at the schedule of when we want to produce and the purchasing, uh, but now with moving the mold, it's uh, impossible. Uh, but I don't have a new schedule yet, and I'll try to publish a new schedule with the first update. Um, mm -hmm. But what I really want to have first is uh, more clarity and an actual progress, like a, a timeline from the manufacturing themselves, uh, something that we can work towards. And we're kind of missing that, so more on that uh, another time. Uh, then, last part, we have an yeah. update on the booting desk pads and mouse pads. Um, we finalized the material, the surface, and the print. Well, we had still one issue pending, which we were trying to figure out. And what was that, uh, Kevin? Uh, it's the the edge of the whole uh, dash pad, um, because this uh, we did with this uh, certain particular uh, dash pad mouse pad uh, factory. They use a different process compared to other uh, uh, on the market dash pad. So the, the processing is different. So we don't have, actually, we don't have the stitches all around on the edges. And at first we, we, think, we think this is very perfect with the, this one because it's so flat, just uh, uh, laying on your desk very perfectly uh, seamless with your uh, desk, pad, uh, desk, uh, desk. But the problem is uh, because it, without the stitching, uh, it reveals the, the pure, like the, the structure of the cloth itself. And then it's very, very easy to, to get, uh, if you have a Velcro or like a, a braided a USB cable and you go all around, around with the uh, edges, uh, it will get a little bit like a, a flop. So basically you say it's uh, straight if you uh... the thread. Fraying, yeah. Mm. It would, if you don't have anything to protect the edges, it will uh, fray over time. Mm. Uh. Yeah, basically. So we are trying uh, kind of like solving this mm. issue because we, we, we think this is a no-no to us. So we are, um, I think Coder can show something. Yeah, with the, so... the latest uh, attempt we, we try with the, the factory, yeah. which is just a very uh, good journey of the uh, development. So what Coder yes. have now, because there's a latency with the me. And, oh, and right. Stream, I'm but... showing it up close now. <laughs> Trust me, I'm showing it up close. <laughs> OK, OK. Uh, so, so this is how uh, we, we bred it or like uh, it's a cloth on, on to the cloth. Uh, so we use uh, another cloth, uh, which is the black one to cover the whole edges. And it, uh, it did, uh, it's kind of like w uh, went well, went very well in a way. So yeah. I feel like a very finalized, a very detailed, uh, like uh, just like a product, not just a, a sample, not just an, any kind of sample or prototype. Yeah. Yeah, but this is not necessarily colder. You got you got one minute left, dude. All oh, right. Yeah. So this solution here is a solution that we're considering. 
um, but it's not the f not the final solution. So there is another solution which is just like uh, stitched edges, but doing stitched edges on silicone has a different effect than on a, a rubber pad. So we're still kind of uh, figuring out uh, what we're going for because obviously uh, what we're most afraid of with this is that you know it might be annoying to have this edge while you're using the desk pad, which we're trying to figure out. Um, mm. And then for anybody new to the desk pad, this it. The desk pad is uh, 900 by 450 millimeters or 90 by 45 centimeters. Um, what makes it special here is that uh, this bottom is entirely made of silicone. So this is a silicone bottom. Uh, this is a cloth top. Um, and it's merged together without using any chemicals, glues, or other material. It's simply mm -hmm. uh, merged together by curing the cloth into the silicone. So what that means is that you can throw this in a washing machine, dishwasher, dryer, whatever you want, and it will stay intact. It won't damage it. It won't, nothing will happen with it. Um, and you can do it in like 60 degrees, 80 degrees. You can even put it in cooking water. Literally, you can cook it, you can put it in, uh, sorry, cooking water, boiling water. You can put it in boiling water um, to clean the dust pad, uh, whatever you want. It will stay intact, nothing will happen. So uh, you can even microwave it, sure. You can put it in microwave, it all, it's all fine. Uh, so it's really easy to clean and it's uh, a completely natural product. Uh, so the whole manufacturing process till the end product, it's just a totally natural product. So also now, Right. That's why with the edges, we were also not able to laminate edges or something like that because then we'd have to use tox uh, chemicals to do it. So everything is uh, either smirched with the silicone or it's stitched. So it's freaking awesome. And that makes the 10 minute update. <laughs> so thank you for joining the 10 minute update. Um, and uh, if you're on, so uh, join the Twitch live stream next time and let's get into some FAQ questions and bye bye YouTube. Bye bye.